Hey, Gospel Guitars here, and uh, as you can see, started to take things apart so I can rebuild it in the new with the new uh, daughter board there. The first thing I did was take all of the pickup. Each one of these pickups have an individual wire, and and initially with the ghost with the acoustophonic they plug into this summing board and then the summing board plugs into the acoustic phonic using only one cable because it doesn't matter it's an acoustic as long as it's picking up each string that's fine and now I don't need this anymore but when you're using MIDI each string can, you know, could potentially be a different instrument or different tunings and all kinds of things. So that's what enables MIDI to do those custom tunings and things at the flip of a switch. Because it treats each individual pickup as its own pickup. Where with the summing board, it just gives you an acoustic sound, so it doesn't matter. But they need to be separated here on the MIDI board. So you got to plug them straight into the MIDI board. Um, this, this is the extender, um, which is actually used for if your if the hex bander has to be too far away from the cable length, then you can plug your pickups into this end of the extender. It's just like an extension cable is basically all it is, and then just plug this end into the MIDI board there. So I've been looking and thinking and wondering if the piggybacked, see this is initially underneath, the, the acoustic phonic is normally run underneath a big pickup and I'm thinking if this thing gets too close to the magnetic fields that may not be good because this has got circuit boards on it or circuit boards, it's got ICs on it right there I don't know how sensitive this thing is to magnetic fields but I'm guessing it probably wouldn't be very but if you get it too close I'd think it could be a problem, wouldn't it? doesn't say anything in the manual about anything like that but the acousophonic is placed underneath it but it's also got like an inch and a half from the bottom of the guitar to the bottom of pick up it's still got a pretty good distance but with this mounted on top of it I don't think I'm going to get that kind of distance so I'm thinking of moving the board but it is attached to the bottom of the guitar so for now I'm just kind of hooking up the wires to the MIDI unit so I can test the MIDI unit all by itself and make sure the MIDI unit works because it'll work independently of the acoustophonic so I was going to hook it up and make sure that it works and um, <clears throat> these are keyed to fit one direction so that you can't put them on backwards so this cable here is coming from the, the MIDI jack and then these cables here are from the pickups themselves, which I should probably, I will put some zip ties around these just to keep it nice and neat there. And so now I have to route, or maybe I'll just plug these in first. These three cables here are the volume control, the program selector and the guitar switch, the quick switch right here. So I should plug these in and then the whole MIDI system's up up and ready to go. So the writing on these is really tiny and I have glasses and it gets really crazy. I need to check the manual. Make sure I get it hooked up get those puppies in there in the right spot program switch 
to S1, S2. And when you do this, you want the black, this is the ground wire, the colored wires should go to the right and the ground should go to the left. So that takes care of that one. MIDI switch connects right above it. Like that. And this one is the volume. So V1 or V0, V1 for this one. Everything about the system is plug and play, but it gets pretty tight. There's one open plug between the pickups and the series of switches and volume controls, and then there's one open one here. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's there. So basically that's it. The MIDI system is all ready to go. It doesn't need a 9 volt battery. It's fed through the, I think it's what whatever pin it is that supplies the power through the 13 pin connector. Um, not sure what number that pin is at the moment. <clears throat> so you don't need a battery or anything to run the system. So now it's all hooked up like this. I'll test it, see if it works with my GR55. And if it all works, then I'll take these cables here off and run them inside the guitar inside the guitar itself. Which is going to take some effort because there is a whole lot of, of wiring in here. And so but this this is the completed MIDI portion of the circuit. Okay, um, seemed to work. Couldn't test much, but seemed like the wiring was intact. What you're looking at now is the acoust acoustophonic. This is the ghost acoustic system. And all of these wires here need to be moved to where the red and blue wires are on this row here. Because that row is the same as the row on the acoustophonic. And then I can attach this to the acoustophonic right there. But I may have to move it. And so I'm going to check and see how this works out. Okay, folks, that's the whole MIDI unit all wired. So this row here is the switches and pickups for the MIDI section. And then all of these wires down here come from the acoustophonic controls for tone, volume, battery, power supply for the Ghost acoustophonic, which does need a power supply. Um, and then this will piggyback on the other controller board. So now I just need to see if I can flatten these wires enough to where I can fit it all in there. And it might, might fit. We'll see. Well, there it is. To my amazement, the daughter board sits right on top. And I still have plenty of clearance here for the pickup, which I just had over the top of it. So if I lean a little forward there, maybe I can get a better look. Pretty crowded. There must be 100 wires in there. So... Now to put it back, while well, I still got a test, I'm going to test the magnetics and make sure the wires are all still good and reassemble it. But that concludes the video as far as getting the, the board, the MIDI board all plugged in and all the controls on the guitar plugged in to the MIDI board. And MIDI board actually wasn't too hard to install in spite of all the wires being in the way just use a nice bright LED flashlight so you can see in there and I don't really see a need to move the board because the wires are going to give you about an inch between the magnet the, the pickup and the 
in the board so that should be sufficient separation I would think so now to reassemble it string it up okay there she is all put back together and something's amiss because all three systems are dead so I either have a bum MIDI board sent to me or there is something killing the system inside you know like a grounding something grounded out something else somewhere uh, these are all plug-and-play systems so there's no soldering so it's not like I made a soldering mistake or double checked all the plugs everything's plugged in the way it should be so there should be something coming out of this but there's dead as a doornail magnetics don't work the battery's good piezo acoustic don't work the MIDI I get signals on the GR55 but they're kind of weird um, and the switch program up and down isn't working uh, to change the program so something's amiss someplace not sure where uh, it all worked before so but that's it for this build for a while I'm gonna walk away from it and come back to it later but I hope you found the series helpful and informative and learned something as I have so that's the better end, right? Hey, thanks for watching. Have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe for other things coming up in the future.